In this video, you'll see how to manage compliance across multiple accounts with AWS CloudFormation Stack Sets. With Stack Sets, you can enable consistent AWS config rules on target accounts from a centralized administrative account right from the AWS CloudFormation console on your web browser. With AWS CloudFormation, you can manage related resources as a single unit called a stack. CloudFormation stack sets extend this functionality by allowing you to create, update, or delete stacks across multiple accounts and regions with a single operation. Stack sets are created and managed from an administrator account. For the purposes of this example, the AWS account you see here is the one we will configure as the administrator account. In addition, we have two other AWS accounts that will become our target accounts for monitoring compliance. Because stack sets perform stack operations across multiple accounts, you need to have the necessary permissions defined in your AWS accounts. This Amazon documentation provides useful links to the CloudFormation templates needed to configure the roles and permissions for the administrator account and target accounts. Here is the CloudFormation template we'll use to configure the role for the administrator account. To start the process, let's return to our administrator account and create a new CloudFormation stack. Here, we'll provide the link to the administrator role template we just saw. Now we'll proceed through the rest of the steps to create this stack. First, we'll give our stack a name. In this case, we don't need to configure any stack options. Now we can review the information we provided, accept the terms, and create the stack. The stack has been created. Let's navigate to the Identity and Access Management, or IAM console, to review the role that was created as part of this stack. Here are the permissions granted by this role. These permissions allow the administrator account to assume the specified service role on a configured AWS target account. Now let's return to the documentation and locate the CloudFormation template for configuring the service role that trusts the administrator account. We'll need to configure this role in both of our target accounts. Starting with the first target account, let's again navigate to CloudFormation and create a new stack. Here, we'll provide the link to the execution role template for the documentation. Now, we'll proceed through the rest of the steps to create the stack. Provide a name for this stack. For this stack, we need to specify the account ID of the administrator account in order to establish the trust relationship. Now we can create the stack. Let's review the IAM role that was created in this target account. Here are the permissions granted by this policy. Let's check the role's trust relationships. As you can see, the administrator account is a trusted entity. Now the configuration process needs to be repeated on the other target account. Let's skip ahead to when the stack has already been created. Now that we have the correct permissions and roles, we're ready to create the stack set we'll use to configure AWS config rules on our target accounts. In this case, we'll upload a template file. The JSON file we selected contains all the configuration information that will be applied to the target accounts. Before proceeding further, let's take a quick look at this file. This file defines several AWS config rules that we'll use to monitor compliance on our target accounts. These rules monitor storage encryption, IAM password policy, 
Root Account Multi-Factor Authentication, and Amazon S3 Public Read Permissions. Now let's continue creating the stack set. Provide a name for the stack set. Next, select the administration role we created earlier. Ensure the correct execution role name is specified, and then click Next. Provide the account ID for each target account where you want to deploy the AWS config rules. You can also specify specific regions to deploy the stacks to. The deployment options provide you with additional control, such as allowing you to specify the maximum number of concurrent accounts to deploy stacks to at one time. You can also establish a failure tolerance for the deployment. Review the settings, then click Submit to create the stack set. Let's take a look at the stack instances being targeted in the stack set deployment. They are initially shown as outdated until the deployment is completed. Now let's switch to the Operations tab. Here, we can verify that the Create operation is running. Let's return to the stack instances and monitor the deployment. The stack has been successfully deployed to all the accounts and regions that we specified. Let's return to one of the target accounts and take a look at the stack details. Here, you can see the stack that was deployed to this account by the stack set. Let's go to the config dashboard to ensure that the account's compliance to our rules is being monitored. As you can see, AWS config is populated with the rules we saw in the JSON file earlier, and it's reporting compliance on all the rules. Finally, let's return to the administrator account and see how you can remove a stack from the stack set. From the Actions menu, select Delete Stacks from Stack Set. Simply specify the account number and region on the stack you want to delete. In this case, we're removing a stack instance from the U.S. West region. Submit the change. You can see that the delete operation is now running. Let's look at our stack instances. When we refresh the list of stack instances in the stack set, we can see that the specified account region has been removed. This means the config rules we deployed will no longer be used to monitor compliance for that account region. You've just seen how to manage compliance across multiple accounts with AWS CloudFormation stack sets. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.